everybody welcome back to another episode of the urban platform speaks this is a sports talk edition um i wanted to i wanted to speak on the caitlin clark situation and and like a lot of people are you know they 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 choosing sides and i just want to caution people not to not to choose sides in this situation i think if you like uh if you like basketball, women's basketball, the WNBA, I think you should just go ahead and and enjoy it for what it is. I think that um, all of this that's going on is 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 being orchestrated, and the people who are orchestrating it, they just knew that this, you know, like this would be, like things would turn out this way, you know, and so you know, some people you have some people who like, well, I'm in Caitlin Clark's camp. And that's cool. I mean, if, if you're a fan of Caitlin Clark, that's cool. Or if you are a fan of, you know, pick whoever, like Angel Reese or uh, uh, what's her name, Kennedy Carter, or if you like Donna Taurasi, or if you like uh, Breonna Stewart, no matter whose side you choose or whose side you think you're on, the winners are going to be like the sponsors, um, the winners are going to be like the WNBA. Um, you know, one, once you buy that jersey or once you buy that, you know, you buy that ticket, you know, just enjoy the show. Um, you know, some people get wrapped up into, you know, they take these games personally. You know, um, and, you know, the, you, 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 you villainize certain ball players. Um, you know, they start to call people uh, thugs and, and you know, they just take it personally. But for people who, who can think for themselves and people who, um, who, who just, you know, like I said, if you just enjoy the game of basketball, then, um, you know, just watch what's going on because there's, there's something bigger going on here than what people are um, really paying attention to. I think, um, you know, like I said, I think all of this is just orchestrated. Um, and I think that um, I think that the WNBA, I don't think. If it grows, I don't think it'll grow just because of one one player, you know, um, there have been so many great ball players throughout history, you know, throughout the history of this league. You know, um, you can go back as far as uh, Cynthia Cooper with the uh Houston Comets, Cheryl Swoops, um uh Tina Thompson, you had, you know, from the Houston Comets, you had them. Then you had Lisa Leslie, um Rebecca Lobo, um another great player, um Donna Tarasi, um Maya Moore, Shamika Holslaw. Um you know, you just had so many great ball players. And so I think that I don't even I don't think that the fact that the WNBA is not has not grown to the the uh the level that they would like to be, I don't think that is it is their fault. You know, I don't think it's the player's fault. I think um, you know, that's that's something that's outside of their control. Um, and all of like I said, all of this stuff that's going on with uh the, the back and forth between um, you know, different players around the league. And and Caitlin Clark, I just think all of this stuff is orchestrated. And you know, if if you just watch the games and watch what's going on and, and look at the big picture, I think I think you'll you know you'll 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 see you'll have a different perspective on it. But um, I'm I'm going to do more videos about about this topic as far as like who's really benefiting from all of the attention that the league is getting now um they're trying to sell people on a, on the uh, notion that you know um Caitlin Clark is going to be the savior of the league and i think that even if Caitlin Clark is she turns out to be everything that um everything that you know what i mean like like the scouts and 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 everybody think that she is i think it'll be so hard for one person to save this league, like I said, because there are so many other things going on, um, so many other, um, so much more other leagues that the WNBA had to compete with. 
and um, you know, the, you know, sponsor dollars and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make longer videos about this because you know it's you know, I, I don't want people to get so fanatical about you know picking sides and vilifying some of these young ladies and uh you know making them out to be the villain when the people at the top orchestrating this are going to be the ones who make out and um you know so with that being said let me know if you agree if, if you think that no matter what caitlin clark do this this league you know it'll grow it probably will grow a little bit and like I said, you you got talent in the league now. You you have always I see, see. I can't even say you got talent in the league now, because you have always had talent in the league um, from day one. Or you know, you got some some women. You got you know you got Asia Wilson. Um, like I said, you have Breonna Stewart, um, Donna Taurasi. You got a lot of talent in this league. Um, Candace Parker, who you know, I'm not sure if she's retired or not. But you know, and the growth of this league is is not just up to them, but it's it's uh you know it it goes above their cre their pay grade. Um, they got you know um you know they had people believing that it's all about talent. Uh, it's all about uh you know having somebody who can come in and save the league, but it, it's it's really is not. So, um, like I said, if you're a basketball fan. Just go ahead and enjoy the sport, you know, um, enjoy whoever your favorite athlete is, whoever your favorite basketball player is. Just go ahead and enjoy them. Um, take it for what it's worth. Try not to get caught up in, in the drama, you know, or don't even take the drama personally. Um, you know, and, and we see examples of people who who really get invested in the drama that's going on, you know, uh, it, 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 you know, and then. Like I said, they'll get so invested and, and and get feelings all about what's going on in the league. But, you know, like I said, just enjoy the game and uh, be careful when you choose sides. Um, with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, um, go to urbanplatformfashion.com and check out my merch. I have hoodies, long sleeve T-shirts and short sleeve T-shirts. And with that being said, let me know what you think about my comments. You know, um, you know, if 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 you think you you feel it's it's necessary for you to choose sides, let me know why you want to choose sides. You know, um, or if you know, or if you're going to just watch basketball or or just watch for the talent around the league. You know, you got so many, you got 12 teams in this league. There's a lot of talent around. You know, if, if you don't want to see the drama, then um, just watch a different team. You know, um, so many different teams you can watch in this league. You don't have to uh, follow the, uh, the Indiana Fever and who they play. You know, just watch a lot of the, the other young ladies in this league, a lot of other ballers, you know. But um, let me know what you think. Let me, um, you know, if you agree or if you think I'm off base, I want to hear that too. But um, with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will check you all out on the next video.